So hi, so this is another cloud formation template. Uh, this one is uh, was created to automate the process of creating an, an IVR password reset using Twilio plus uh, AWS serverless function. So it's using primarily Lambda functions to uh, uh, to guide the, the caller during the call. So to do the logic and everything. So again, this this template is designed to pretty much automate the whole process to 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 handle the call, handle the status, update the database, update a wall board, update a website, create a report, a schedule reports and everything in one shot. So let's let's start with the, uh, so this is actually the template. Again, it's using three different databases. Uh, again, a handful of uh, Lambda functions with their events and uh, CloudFormation event triggers, uh, Cognito for identity uh, management, um, course for for uh, for also for as method for 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 every for every request so let's um, create the stack so the first thing that's asking us is to uh, how we want to name this this stack we can choose anything we have environment drop down so we can choose any of those three possible environments that brought test I'm going to choose that first um full name uh, so this is how we want so all that marco so this is how i want to call my my project uh this is s3 path so uh, again for 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 an ivr it's it's better to use recordings instead of using twilio text-to-speech uh, uh system so again use web files you can use any um any text-to-speech service you can use uh, amazon google IVM or any service to, to convert your, your text to speech. Uh, so oh, this is for the portal pad. So uh, let, let me change this. So uh, now I know that I want to bloat my portal, that my portal is sitting here in IVR Puzzle Reset Portal. So I'm gonna, if I click here, so my portal is sitting here. So Okay, so I uploaded the correct S3 portal path. Uh, phone number, so in case of any failure, where you want to transfer your call. So you, you call or where, in case of an error, if you want to transfer that to an, to an agent. So this is where you put your service desk DID number. Right now it's using my personal cell phone number. Uh, server for all tools, so this is for the security for all Lambda executions. Uh, short name, so I want to call this Ola, so capital letters, no spaces, no, it's, no it's, no signs, so this is to differentiate every Lambda Dynamo database and everything. Uh, time zone for the schedule report. So down here we have uh, reports for month, today, and week reports. So uh, you can actually choose any zone. Uh, so this is to, to run the report. For example, if, if I'm running the report for today, I, I'm choosing here to use uh, Mexico time zone. So uh, the rate you can actually use the Amazon documentation for a rate expression. So I'm gonna choose a value. Uh, so right now, uh, for for demo purposes, I'm gonna actually change it to to one minute. Let's so click next. Next, so everything's ready. Choose my role. Click next. Uh, everything looks cool and create 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 so it's uh, work in progress so on the meantime let's go and buy a, a, a new number in Twilio let's buy any any number from US Buy this number from Texas. Okay. Let me keep this number aside because I might for 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 the demo I'm, I'm gonna call this number. IVR password password reset 
game demo. So again, so cloud formation is creating um So you will see that you will start seeing those uh, lambda functions that are appearing automatically again uh, the database is everything is going to be it's creating everything automatically so let's just wait uh, less than a minute and also for the portal so the portal the only thing that you have to do to to uh, to enable the portal. so here in inside gs Marmarty, you have one config file, so I'm going to open this config file. So we have to change those four lines of code. So client ID for Cognito, client secret, Cognito URL. So let's go and buy one test, 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 and the API gateway URL. So this API gateway, uh, gateway URL, we, will, we are going to get that URL from the, from the template itself so cognito user pool so we now have the cognito user pool and we can access that cognito pool let's put here Okay, so it created the Cognito pool and also the, the app client. So we have the app client ID that we have to to fill sorry in our config. So client ID. Client secret. Okay, it's fine. Let's set the domain that we want to use. Settings. So uh, the callback URLs and the sign out URL will we, we are getting that from uh, from our from our template also. So uh, let's wait for that. So let's see if uh, how. How our template is doing. Okay, it's completed. So, um, so we created a uh, three dynamic databases: Cognito pool, Cognito client, authorizer, uh, the deployment for the AP gateway. So everything, uh, lambda functions. So uh, it's a it's it's a huge huge task. But let's see the outputs. So here we have our Tulio. Call and status. So let's set up that or on Tulio. So call status. Call status. Uh, Tulio webhook. Save this. So this is ready to go. We have Cognito. callback URLs we have API gateway URL so we need this in for our config GS file so this is done but also we need the cognito sign out URL so we need to do a small modification so we 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 selected one custom domain so we have we need to select that custom we need to type that custom domain here okay so we have our custom domain selected for our sign up save changes okay we are we're done let's refresh Okay, so have, we have our number. Got, so we have our number coming. Okay, it took a little bit to load, but it's there. So what is missing? Okay, so it's, we are pretty much done. So the only thing that we need to do is it's update the the portal. So yes.
my config. So let's upload upload here the config file that we just created. So remember that we change uh, those four lines: client ID, client secret, code into URL, and API gateway. I'm gonna hit uh, make it public. Upload. Progress done. So let me open my the portal. Okay, let me do a small. Ah, first of all, I have to create a user. So a user, let me create a user. And I don't want to send him any invitation. Let's provide. Okay. Select a new password for my new user. So here we have our dashboard uh, or reporting portal and or wallboard. So I'm going to click on my wallboard and let's call this, this number the 903. So let me call it from my personal cell phone. So 001 903 290 So I'm calling that number. Welcome to the automated password reset system. To start with the process, please answer a series of questions to verify your identity. Using your phone keypad, please enter your eight digit global personal ID. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as you can see on the wallboard, we see the, the live status. You have of entered that user. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay on the line to continue or press any number key to try again. I'll just... Please wait while we validate your information. Thank you. Your new password so now is giving me the password. Number, asterisk 789. Let me spell that for you. So again, we are using Capital a template. Letter, S, so you have to change the main file. Lowercase P, lowercase T. Lowercase e, lowercase m, lowercase b, lowercase e, lowercase r, asterisk, number seven, number eight, number nine. Press any number key to repeat this. I'm gonna select or press uh, pound to disconnect the call. One key to repeat the message. And Your you will also see on the on the wall where that's something password. Is so it's working. Seven, eight, so I'm gonna just hang nine. up the call. And also, you, uh, we're also uh, going to see that the dashboard is it's getting updated. So, so again, so the only thing that you have to to change uh, in here is the. So let me refresh the function. Now my internet's not very fast, so sometimes. I have to refresh the whole thing. So again, it's a it's a very small uh, boilerplate template for an IVR password reset intro, gather menu, gather UID, I'm sorry, validated UID and password. Again, we are also using uh, something called, so we're using also CloudWatch events. So we're also logging those events in a database, logging those events in a for a world world on a reporting portal. So again, we're doing a lot of uh, stuff at the same time. Time. So uh, let me go back here to see if, okay, we have now a call in the dashboard. So today, how many calls were handled? How many successful for a week, for a month? Uh, the reporting world, it's also, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna also update. You will see it's loading. And we have, here we have our call. We can click on the plus button to see the details of the call. So enter, get the ID, ID, password as successful, password spell, call the call completed. So we have the, the events of the call. Uh, so again, it, it's again it's it's working. So again, uh, this is a boilerplate tem template. So we took only five minutes to set up a, a, an entire entire IVR solution uh, from scratch. So again, uh, again the only thing that you have later to change is the Twilio main uh, uh, Lambda function to update the the. the the, the call flow of the IVR password. I hope you like it. Uh, thank you. Bye.